Just one little verse that everybody. Oh, you have an airplane for me? Thank you. That's very nice. Um, we are going to hear in a minute. I'm going to read from the Bible. And one of the verses is a really well known verse. It's, uh, it's been put up in end zones of football games. It's been held up at bat, professional basketball. People hold up and it says, John 3.16. And this morning, we're going to hear that verse. We're going to hear that word. And it begins like this. For God so loved the world. Have you ever heard that before? For God so loved the world. And it keeps going. And it says that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him would not perish, would not die but would have everlasting life. And it begins with God so loved the world. God so loved the world. And I, I got to thinking about how much does it feel like we understand what love is. Who loves you? In your, who loves you? Do you know who loves you? Who loves you? God loves you. Who else loves you? Yeah. Your family? Yeah. Mom and dad? Somebody else? Yeah. Some, some people at church, yeah. Aunts and uncles, grandmas and grandparents. There's all sorts of people around us that love us, and they love us all the time. So does Jesus, that's right. And, friends. and your friends do, too, that's right. And so when we talk about love, we gotta, we got to remember when we talk about God's love, it's even bigger than that kind of love. Have you ever at home maybe done something that you shouldn't have done and your parents got a little frustrated by? Yeah, you've done that? <laughs> I've done that. Anybody else in here? Any adults ever upset your parents? Scott Ramey? <laughs> Shake your head no. <laughs> That got on the internet. Now your friends can come out. <laughs> We've all made mistakes. And you know what, what's amazing? Do our parents stop loving us when we make those mistakes? No. no. Do our grandparents stop loving us when we make mistakes? No, right. They don't. Somebody Everything keeps. Yeah, I heard somebody in the back being a silly pants. Um, so we learn about that love. I used to read a book to my daughters when they were really little. You can tell it's a book for little people because the pages don't bend. Right? Did you read this? Yeah, technology grew since the time I was reading those books. Yes. Yes. You have big versions of this. Well, this is called Guess How Much I Love You. And it's a book to help us remember how much people love us. I think it's a book that can help us remember how much God loves us. So we can talk about maybe we are little nut brown hair and God is the big nut brown hair. Are you ready? You guys know the story. I'm going to read the story to remind us about God's love. Little nut brown hair was going to bed and held on to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure Big Nut Brown Hair was listening, and he said, guess how much I love you. And Big Nut Brown Hair said, I don't think I could even begin to guess that. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, spreading his arms as wide as they would go. And Big Nut Brown Hair had even bigger arms and he said, but I love you this much, and stretched his arms as far as they would go. And little nut brown hair said, that is a lot. He said, little nut brown hair said, well, I love you as high as I can reach. And big nut brown hair said, 
I love you as high as I can reach. And he's bigger, so it was even higher. And little nut brown hair said, I wish I had arms that big. Little nut brown hair decided he had a good idea, and he tumbled upside down, and he stood on his hands, and he took his feet up into the tree, and he said, I love you all the way up to my toes. And big nut brown hair grabbed a hold of the hands of little nut brown hair and swung him high into the air and said, yes, but I love you all the way up to your toes. And then little nut brown hair said, I love you as high as I can hop. And he was bouncing up and down. And big nut brown hair said, I love you as high as I can hop. And he jumped even higher and his ears brunch, brain, brain, brushed up against the tree. And little nut brown hair said, that's really good hopping. <laughs> I wish I could hop like that. And then a little nut brown hair looked down the way and he said, I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river. And big nut brown hair said, I love you across the river and over the hills. And little nut brown hair said, that's very far. And he was starting to get really sleepy. And he looked past the thorn bushes and he looked out into the night sky and he saw the sky and he knew nothing be farther than the sky and he said I love you right up to the moon and big big nut brown hair said that's very far that's very very far big nut brown hair said as he settled little nut brown hair down to sleep and he leaned over and kissed him good night and he laid down next to him and whispered I love you right up to the moon and back We hear in the story this morning about God's love, that it's always that big. And the story, the verse that we read today says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. And who is that? Jesus. That's Jesus. God loved us so much that he sent us Jesus to show us how much he loves us so that we would always know that we are loved. Shall we pray? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Help me to show your love to others. Whether it's reaching out my arms or sticking up my toes or hopping in the trees, help me remember that you love me and I can love them. Thanks for coming up.